Today in our 2005 Ford Escape, we'll be installing our draw tight hitch, part number 36501. To begin our install, we'll first go ahead and point out our attachment points. We'll have a total of four attachment points, two on each side. These attachment points will be secured with the hardware provided with our install kit and utilizing the pre-drilled holes in the manufacturer's frame. Securing each attachment point will be a half inch carriage bolt and block that will get fed through the frame, out the attachment point, through the hitch, where we'll secure it with a conical tooth washer and nut. The teeth of the washer will face the hitch. Now to get our hardware in position here on the driver's side, we'll need to open up the oval slotted hole here at the bottom of the frame, large enough that we can fit our block and carriage bolt into the frame. To do that, we're gonna use a round file bit on a drill to simply open up the hole. To get our hardware in place, utilize the half inch pull wire or bolt leader provided with the install kit. We'll take the pull wire, feed it through the attachment point, and out the access hole that we just made large enough to get our hardware in the frame. Then we'll slide the block onto the pull wire and thread on the carriage bolt. We'll feed the block into the frame first and then the carriage bolt separately. Once I get the pull wire into the frame, I'll pull the carriage bolt and block out, locking the block onto the carriage bolt, and then just slide them back into the frame far enough that we can get our hitch in place. Now I'll go ahead and repeat the same process for our rear attachment point here on the driver's side, going through the attachment point and out the access hole. If the vehicle were not equipped with this style of tow hook here at the end of the frame, we would not need to enlarge the hole as we could use the end of the frame as our access, like we'll do on the passenger side. Now, with the hardware in place here on the driver's side, I'll move over to the passenger side. Here, we'll go through the attachment point and out the end of the frame. We'll slide on our block and thread on the carriage bolt. Then separately feed the block and bolt into the frame and pull them into position. Note in some cases where their tolerances are tight, we'll have to feed the carriage bolt in backwards where we feed the head of the bolt first into the frame. Now with all our hardware in place, we're ready to install the hitch. It's a good idea to get an exit of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install the fastener. As we bring the hitch up to the frame, we'll feed the pull wires through the attachment points of the hitch. Once we have the hitch up in place, we've got our hardware pulled through the hitch. We'll go ahead and remove the bolt leader and install the conical tooth washer. Again, the teeth of the washer I'm gonna face the hitch and secure it with a half inch nut. We'll install each fastener finger tight until we have them all in place. Now with all our fasteners hand tight, we can go ahead and run them down. Next, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in the instructions. Once we have our hitch secured and torque the specifications, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install of the draw tight hitch part number 36501 on our 2005 Ford Escape.